Welcome, one and all, to Pacific 4 and 4 Pop Talk. I'm your host, Mike, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about two articles from Bounding Into Comics. One with Alex Kurtzman saying he's proud of what he's been able to do with Star Trek, making it what it hasn't been before. And the other concerning the second season of Superman and Lois and Superman's patriotism. So let's get into this, shall we? So as you can see... These articles do come from Bounty Into Comics, with the first one being Alex Kurtzman says he's proud of having been able to grow Star Trek into something it had never been before. This article was released on January 21st, and it's by Spencer Bacalli. And it says, in case there was any doubt left in the minds of longtime fans, current Star Trek head Alex Kurtzman has confirmed that one of his intentions in developing the franchise's current slate of projects was to grow Star Trek into something it had never been before. It says, Kurtzman revealed this insight in honor of the January 18th announcement that nearly every currently in production series in the Star Trek universe had been renewed for another respective season, including flagship series Star Trek Discovery, the animated Star Trek Lower Decks, and Star Trek Strange New Worlds whose second season has been ordered months ahead of its May premiere. Star Trek Discovery has been renewed for a fifth season. Season four of Star Trek Discovery returns with new episodes on Thursday, February 10th. Read CBS official press release, Star Trek Strange New Worlds has been renewed for a second season ahead of its season one debut, which will premiere on Thursday, May 5th. Following the premiere of new episodes will drop weekly on Thursdays. Star Trek Lower Decks will return summer 2022 with a 10 episode long third season. Star Trek Lower Decks has also been renewed for a 10 episode long fourth season. Article then goes on to say, while they did not receive renewal announcements, Star Trek Picard and Star Trek Prodigy were confirmed to be currently developing their previously announced third and second half of its first seasons, respectively. Season two of Star Trek Picard will premiere on Thursday, March 3rd. Following the premiere, new episodes will drop weekly Thursdays. Star Trek Picard is currently in production on a third season, elaborated CBS. Season 1 of Star Trek Prodigy returned on Thursday, January 6th with Episode 6. The remaining four episodes of Season 1's first half will be available to stream weekly on Thursdays with Episode 10 available to stream on Thursday, February 3rd. The additional 10 episode long second half of the season one will be available on Paramount Plus later in 2022. Viacom CBS added. Article then goes on to say, alongside this news, Kurtzman also released a statement wherein he excitedly told fans four years ago, we made a promise to grow Star Trek into something that had never been before. And thanks to the incredibly hard work done by our many talented showrunners, writers, and directors, along with the extraordinary support of CBS Studios and Paramount Plus, we're keeping our word. You realize how many showrunners they've gone through, how many writers they've gone through? It's not something to be proud of. Now our current shows are set up for the future as we work to build Trek's next phase of programming for years to come. Goes on to say, as noted above, even a cursory glance at the current state of the franchise's media and public faces makes it readily apparent that Kurtzman has succeeded in transforming Star Trek into something it had never been before. Funny, there was a time where in the 90s you had Deep Space Nine, you had Voyager, you had Next Generation, you had a plethora of books, you had video games, amongst other media. From the large-scale starship battles, more akin to something out of Star Wars than Star Trek, seen in Discovery, to the placement of Jean-Luc Picard's consciousness into a golem body that is more in place with Dune, to the crude and lewd humor in Lower Decks, it's never been more clear that the beloved sci-fi series has strayed further than ever from its curious and adventurous roots. Whether it can ever find its way home remains to be seen, at least for the foreseeable future. The outlook seems bleak, and it's asking at the end, like they always do, what do you think? What do you make of Kurtzman's assertion? Well, I'm gonna let you know already. This isn't Star Trek anymore. This is Kurtzman's vision. This is Kurtzman's platform. He's even said it in the past that he's 
making Star Trek into a platform. And it's disgusting what's happened to Star Trek. Star Trek used to be about the human condition, where we've been, where we're going. We used to have episodes where the crew would explore. And the crew doesn't do hardly any exploration anymore. It's more, you know, can Mikey Spock save the day? Can Picard apologize for what he's doing? Can we get more rude and crude humor on Lower Decks? This isn't Star Trek anymore, folks. In my opinion, this is not Star Trek anymore. Star Trek used to be about looking at, you know, current day events and giving the viewer current day events as they were, but not telling you, oh, you sh need to think this way. You need to think that way. At the end of each and every episode, it would ask you the question, was this right or was this wrong? And it was up to the individual viewer, the individual person to decide. This isn't Star Trek anymore. Unfortunately, folks, with images like this, Star Trek is dead. Star Trek is dead and it shall remain dead until somebody who actually cares about the property can take over, but that's not going to happen anytime soon, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and move on to the next article, Superman and Lois, Season 2, and how it will wrestle with the question of the Man of Steel's patriotism. This article came out on January 20th. It's by J.B. Augustine, and it goes on to say, Superman's loyalty to the U.S. and the military will waver in the new season of Superman and Lois as part of the next big plot thread it goes on to say the introduction of a new character and military liaison to the man of steel lieutenant mitch anderson played by ian bowen wants superman's full allegiance to his country this may not go in anderson's favor when soup admits he gave it up to the world a long time ago goes on to say america benefited from where he landed but if you're superman or on our show because he's Clark Kent and because he had these fantastic parents he has the responsibility not just to Smallville or to Kansas or to America but to the world said showrunner Todd he Hebling goes on to say the site calls this a touchy subject but helping explain it's part of the mythology that we're doing this season and you can anticipate anderson replacing general sam lane will change superman's alliance with america's armed forces sam lane had done that job forever and he obviously has all the benefit of knowing who superman really is that he's married to his daughter their history all that helping set he can get away with things and hide things in a way that someone coming in who doesn't know the secret wouldn't be able to do the article goes on to say he added we're playing all that in conjunction with the idea that if you have someone like superman at your disposal and you're a country you want that person fighting for you the question now is this, where is General Lane anyway? Helping assure his viewers they will catch up with the retired military man soon, but they might not like what they find. With a job like his that he's had so long, he just needs a break, he said. Goes on to say, he's out there doing things you wouldn't normally see General Lane do. Helping continued, the writers had a lot of fun coming up with fun things to do if you're a retired ex-military person. When we see him, he's enjoying life and retirement, but he gets folded back into the family and all their problems. Ultimately, he starts doing some stuff with the boys that maybe he shouldn't be doing. It's also being said by TV line, Superman and Lois could start using the new credo for truth, justice, and a better tomorrow to correspond with the son of Kal-El comics. What do you all think about these articles from Battling in the Comics? Are you looking forward to season two of Superman and Lois? Do you hope it continues as strong as the first season was? Are you a little worried with it being a CW show that it might go the route of other CW shows, specifically the superhero shows? And what do you think about Alex Kurtzman's comments about how proud he is of what he's brought to Star Trek, making it what it hasn't been before? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down. Comment in the comment section below why you don't like it. And if you do like any of the content here on the channel, subscribe. Until next time, this has been Mike for Pacific 4 and 4 Pop Talk. Thank you and have yourself a great day.